guitarists, singers, sax players, an electronic cello, all kinds of musicians showcasing their talents for the chance to be buskers. What in the word is that? The word busk has been around since the 1300s, but it wasn't until the mid 1800s that it was used to refer to traveling street performers. One theory is that it comes from a phrase that meant to cruise as a pirate. Sounds about right if you think of performers as cruising the streets in search of treasure. Busking today is the practice of entertaining passersby in a public space, often for donations, using musical talents, comedy, or physical feats, like juggling. The practice has a long history. Everybody gather near. I have a tale to tell, so listen clear. Early records show street performers as far back as ancient Rome, but many people trace modern day busking to medieval times, and in America, the tradition started with traveling circuses. When these faded in popularity, performers changed routines and started setting up shop on street corners. This audition in London is the first since the pandemic, people vying to busk in London's underground train network. Over 480 people applied. And we'll whittle that down to around about 240 applicants that will be performing live in front of our judges. They've got 10 minutes to impress those judges and to try and secure a license. But only about 40 will get one judged on originality, technique, and performance. Applicants are excited by the opportunity. Some 3.5 million people travel London's underground tube each day. And whether passengers stop to listen or just catch sounds in passing, their music is heard. I fully believe in the power of live performance. I love seeing live performance. I love being in live performance. And there is something visceral about being in the presence of someone making something that makes you happy, or sad, or angry, or, you know, it can make you feel. Some big names started out this way. Recognize this guy? At 18, Ed Sheeran was a busker in London's underground. Judges will make their selections for this year's crop of buskers by the end of March, and they'll be entertaining the traveling masses by November. There's just one more thing to answer. Can Caleb do that? There's a brand new site experience waiting for you and your family. Let's build news literacy to better live out the gospel. If you like that story, do me a favor, tap the like and subscribe button below. And if you really liked it, check out the full show free for a week. Just head over to worldwatch.news forward slash free video.